Tony um, has got uh, locking stifles, or shall I say, did have. What we've done is we've massaged with a vibrating plate. So basically, what I use. Come on, good boy. So basically what I use is the same thing, a palm sander they call it. We put a sheepskin pad over it and some baby oil and massage, massage all the way around the stifle on the inside, on the outside of the leg, massage it for about 20 minutes, 15 minutes each side. Then we take them to work. Now, it's only something I've done um, it's not recognised as being of any benefit, but I find it a big benefit. I've done several that have got sticky stifles or locking stifle, and uh, yeah, several like that. So yeah, nice, nice pony this is, and I'm very, very pleased with what we've achieved because it didn't have a job. It didn't have a future, but the lady's a lovely lady that owns it, and well, young lady that owns it, and she said, I just want to give it, uh, you know, the best chance I can. Uh, I agree with her, she didn't think it would be a, you know, didn't think that riding would be necessarily a, a good thing, but driving might be, and I agree with that because He's got no weight on his back, no more than, I don't know, 50 pounds of harness weight, maybe a bit less, and uh, the weight of the shafts. Well, the shafts are supported on the carriage. Go on, my boat. The shafts are supported on the carriage, and uh, they're supported on the other end by the hall, so they're not that heavy, you know, the weight of even the weight of the shafts is shared between the carriage and the pony. So. I'm very, very happy with this pony. Very good in traffic. Well, all my horses are, I hope, you know, by the time they're done. They're all safe and sensible. But this pony can cover the ground. It's got a lovely action. And if you look at it behind, it's got a lovely rolling hock action. Considering it's got sticky stifles, you know, the two wouldn't go together necessarily. We're just walking up here, hoping that we'll see a lorry or two coming up, or at least fans or something. They got traffic all round it, and the little pony just doing lovely. There's a little truck there. That's a nice one. Lovely looking little pony, nice head carriage on it, only wearing a rubber bit, soft rubber bit. Go real nice, nice pony, you know, and would be a good work ethic, a lovely work ethic with it, you know, it would never, uh, never stop work. In fact, I would say you'd have to be careful with it because you could drive it out, it, it's doing, um, 14 miles now and with no effort you know it comes back as fresh as it goes out that's you know seven mile out to Stockbridge roughly well one way is about six mile and the other way coming back is eight so we stop and have a coffee and a little little break give them a drink and uh, yeah that's what we do and um, Pony's been absolutely 100%. If I asked it now to get on, I don't have to smack it or anything. Go on, babe, trot. Up you go, come on. You can hear the beat change. The hoof beat, hoof beat change. If I uh, just bring it back steady. Steady, baby. Steady, that's it. Just walk. Come back to a nice walk. We're going under our famous bridge now, we're under the 303, it's deafening. You can't hear yourself talk underneath here, you know. And you see the big Arctic coming down the other side. Now come on, walk up.
horse to get used to this, you have to understand this horse is just doing this for the first time um, in the arena. Um, you know, they need a fair bit of training on this thing to, that you could say they're 100% safe. You know, he's a good horse. I broke him. He's a lovely, lovely animal. He's still, you know, he don't, he's got sticky stifles, but they're not looking anymore. Um, you see him go to work there, just off a breast collar, and he's doing a lovely job. You never do it. And I'll just say to him now, Eddie. That's it, lovely. Now he's had a little canter in on this. If you never do that, if they ever get into a panic, and they canter, this behind them is no longer a carriage, it's no longer me, it's no longer you, it's no longer anything other than a bloody great monster chasing them, and that's what they believe. So they run faster and faster into a full chap gallop, and then start kicking and bucking. I'm not saying that's the case in every case, but if they've been at canter, they never bother again. And this pony has got one of the best work ethics I've known in a pony. Just gets his head down and goes to work. A real good work pony, and he's going to end up a real cracking driving pony. And I do believe, um, we don't know yet, because we haven't done it, but I do believe he's going to have the agility to do driving trials. There's a smile on my face every time I hear that sound The rhythm of the hoops as they touch the ground And there's no better place I'd rather be Than with my safe, confident horse And there's no better place I'd rather be Than with my safe Confident horse that's had